Hi Cancer, this is your love reading for the month of June 2020. We're going to have these four cards representing energy of your relationship right now in June. And we have the Sun. Emperor Queen of Winter Queen of Swords and then we have Four of Autumn Four of Pentacles right and you're coming into with Ace of Winter with Ace of Swords Ace of Winter Ace of Swords, news, some news, some info. Let me just see uh, the star pair with the sun. How sweet. Cancer. And then the Emperor is paired with the King of Pentacles. And then Queen of Winter. Now you having the Chariot card. Four of Autumn. And yours is Strength. Influencing energy is eight of wands. Okay, I'll quickly draw energies cards for your partner or potential partner, one who's on your mind, sitting across the table, whatever. Four cards then to pair with the sun and the star, and it is. Four of Wands. <clears throat> the Emperor, then paired with Seven of Wands. And then Queen of Winter, Queen of Swords, then paired with Five of Wands. Four of Autumn, Four of Pentacles, paired with a Three of Pentacles. And influencing energy for your partner is Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. All right. All right. The sun. The sun. The star underneath your energy, the star. And four of wands, your partner. Beautiful energy of the sun. God. It's light. It's easy. Even if maybe it's not a relationship yet with the star card, Kind of, you want something better that you have right now. You know that hoping for something better than what you do have now. Four of Wands on top. It's a stable one. That's Four of Wands is always a stable energy, and it's um, in a way happy. Happy because something else is over, and this is stability that this one, this person achieved right now. Standing into something that is really stable, not much. But it's stable. Now, with the Sun card and the Four of Wands, which could be also home, that we're talking about home as well, that side. Maybe some sort of um, gatherings, some sort of party with the Sun card, always something like that you have to take into account. That you find each other um, into some um, house part, if we talk some beginning of a relationship at this point, beginning of the month, beginning of the relationship, maybe we can just talk about that. But then it's going to be this house party. And you find yourself or you're going somewhere, a picnic or something like that. That sort of energy, light, easygoing energy, everybody's having fun, you as well. Now, you meet at that point and everything seems, oh, so fun, so beautiful. More through fun that you meet each other. Your partner also a bit more close down than you. Uh, it seems this partner did have something ongoing because this home card, something difficult was until this person reached this plateau. You know, maybe it was some, some time ago, some difficult relationship. And at this point, it's all good. This person is just fine, but kind of still this fear, you know, still this fear within, you know, what if, you know, it repeats itself, this relationship. But anyway, um, with the Sun card, at this point, nothing major, nothing in-depth. It is just have fun. That's how you meet each other at this point 
even if it's your old relationship, if it's or maybe if it's ongoing, something that is ongoing, some mature relationship as well could be that you're just passing through these difficulties and you are hoping just this day at the beginning of this month something beautiful is happening, some get together when it seems just suddenly it seems yeah, it could be better for us. Maybe it's gonna we have better time for ourselves from now on. Somehow some gleams of, of hope that is there for you. For both of you, something could be better how you meet each other they, for the first time, second time, or after a long time. But again, that is the feeling that it could be better from now on, it seems like. Now, the Emperor is something else. Now, you know, after this beautiful day, and then kind of things are coming in a how can I put it, a bit more on this business ground, you know. Now you want to assert authority onto this relationship, <laughs> both of you. I see seven of wands on top and I see you, king of pentacles, emperor in between. You're making agreement about this uh, relationship. Now, with this sun card, which was beautiful, it gave you glimpse, it, it that doesn't give depth. It's not a deep insight into the relationship with the sun card, but it's just bliss. It could be better. So, from could be better now. We are going all right. How we can make, how, how could we, what do we do to make sure that it doesn't get wrong again? So, now, your partner is coming with this idea, with talks, certainty, what it's supposed to be done. I supposed to, I don't know, wash dishes, you do laundry. <laughs> Kind of, you, it's organizing these finances, you're more concerned about that, you're more busy around it, your mind is more there, financial security, maybe you are the one who's got more money, who earns money, who is, you know, money maker, or you just have a bit more, or you concentrated on money a bit more than uh, um, your partner, but your partner is there talking about trying to assert, trying to bring forward this um, it's not stubbornness, but kind of working out this, what it have to be. This must be like this. And then it's going to be everything. You know, making you people are making structure now. You agreeing on it. This is more agreement about relationship than really excitement about love relationship. That's why I think that it is perhaps something ongoing. And you're just fixing it up now by agreeing on who's going to do what, how it's going to operate from now on. How you're going to behave in this relationship, what it's going to be exactly for you too. Anyway, I've got now five of wands down there. After seven of wands, we've got five of wands. Four, <laughs> four that side, five of another side. Look, my impression is really um, concerned that your partner is now looking for some space for, for himself or for herself. It's going to give me a little bit of space. Kind of. You also, the chariot, you've got also your goals. Your, what is in front of you? What you want for yourself? Kind of, you're not matching it. Queen of Winter is um, a bit distant. A bit distant. The, you are... Rather factual in here, all of your relationship is very decent. Cuts everything, it seems to me, everything that comes emotional, kind of personal, supposed to go away in this relationship. Some relationship are simple like that. Whatever is your personal, you, know, you do it on your own, on your own time. Do it. You see what I'm saying? More time for myself. I want a little bit of freedom for myself, looking for the space. You yourself, you've got your mind somewhere else. Being a bit emotional in here, but you do have your goals. Also very competitive, this chariot is competitive. You're kind of competing in, in here, guys. Like, you're making decision about this relationship and you're now negotiating. I really see it as a solid negotiation in here, in, the, in this middle two weeks, middle part, doesn't matter, doesn't need to be two weeks, but this middle part, that you're kind of negotiating. You mean, I was making fun by saying, you know, I do dishes, you do laundry, but that is basic idea 
that can spread to very major things related to this relationship. Who does what? What is allowed? I have free day twice a week, you got your free day. Something like that. Queen of Winter, that's agreement. That's agreement. Everybody is on its own. Your relationship, you just find each other as per agreement when it's suitable for both of you. I don't love your energies. It's all right. If it's not about love relationship, if it's just business and career, oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> but anyway, let me carry on with your a love relationship. Four of autumn in the middle. Four of Pentacles, like you did agree, you've got it, and very basic I see in here. What is your agreement is here very basic, from your partner and from your side. You, you particularly um, letting this partner bring up, um, you know my impression is that you are the one who's got money, who dictates terms about material possession and, and business and wealth. Maybe you even doing business together. Maybe it's the same line of work, but you are the one who earns more, or where money kind of, you are related to much more to money, material wealth, and something, your decision maker there, you are important. That is where, where, where you solid, where you are solid. But here, what I'm saying, you are not stingy or unpleasant. No, you are very gentle. You understand your partner where it stands. You know, this is maybe, um, that you are the rich one and your partner is not and it, there is a bit, you know, conflicting moment there that, that comes as well. Could be something like that for some of you. But now you find yourself into agreement about, you know, this basic agreement you have here. Who pays what? Who pays supper? Who's going to pay, you know, twice a month? Who's going to pay once a month? And, you know, I don't know. I'm giving you a stupid example, but I'm sure that you do understand. You've got this agreement about who pays what, when, and how. That you're not going to force the issue kind of um, because you do have now more that you're going to push that agenda forward. No, you're staying back. Like, you say what it suits you, that's how it's going to be. And person is kind of very moderate and you agree on something very basic, your agreement, agreement there about free times, about what, who does what. Um, I'm telling you my impressions, the whole this month, you really making agreement about this relationship. Being that you started, if it's new relationship, as I said, with the sun card star there, it could be brand new relationship on the first day of this month, and from there, but then you are making agreement about it, which is sometimes understandable, you know, until you um, get to know each other and, and just get into this flow of this relationship. That is maybe not a bad idea at all, but it could be also that it is ongoing, established relationship that did have some sort of trouble. As I said, with the star card, what would you hoping for much for something better if it's you know, good already, you're hoping for better because something is not right there. And with the four of wands, there wasn't right, there was struggle. And now at this point, this beginning, this first week, this is this plateau of, of happiness that is achieved. Maybe, as I said, still stand that idea about home gathering, going out on maybe vacation, maybe outing, maybe just for the weekend when some something came up and he said, but we can be happy. We can be happy. Why not? What, let's uh, address the, the problem area and work that out. Who's got, who's paying for what is coming up strongly here? Could be very well that you are much wealthier than another or that, that what comes here. But anyway, it's something very basic here. You agree on it. You've got this basic agreement about your relationship, about your finances, about your business, if you have business together, about your household. Who puts how much, so much on for this household or things like that. If you're moving in, that what is chat, that what is agreement. This month comes like that, simple as that. This agreement, I, I, what can I tell you about your relationship at this point, besides this first first week, first couple of days, or this first initial moment of bliss, that, oh, but it, this can work out for us. 
let's do it. And then you're doing it as like you're making a, a green business agreement. All details, you're working hard on that, your partner as well, talking. <laughs> it seems to me your partner is one who's bringing up particulars here. You know, what is wrong, what we can fix, how we're going to do that. What is, you know, I suggest strongly so and so. <laughs> but you are the one who mostly accepting it. You're mostly accepting it. Not because you feel weak. At contrary, you're gentle now here. Yeah. You're very gentle. But you have your clear goals. The chariot is there, definitely. Clear understanding for yourself what you want. You know exactly what you want. As I said, your partner is a bit muddled a bit confused, you know, and, and coming strong, you know, when people are a bit confused and, and they, uh, they scared, kind of, they, you know, when you, it's scared of the power of another, they, you know, when they feel they might get hurt, you've got, you hold this power, you're not hurting your partner, no, no, you're very gentle, yeah, you're very aware of, but this is uncertainty. This is definitely uncertainty. This person is uncertain with you. Feeling in a bit lower ground, lower spectrum than you. And at this point, it is. This person is. You are, as I said, very tolerant, very gentle. You just let it be. You just say what it is, I'll accept it. And that's what you do. Not because you don't have goals, no, you're very clear with yourself. Oh, you were so solid, Cancer. You're so solid. Maybe you did have something that was really bad and it doesn't matter what. Let us be better than it was. Maybe something like that stands as well for you. But, um, you know, I mentioned at one point, if this is a career business, you would be a really 100% to the moon. Anyway, Cancer, I hope you're going to enjoy it.